Hello Capricorn, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at Valfie 3 Tarot, which is review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Okay. <laughs> the goat. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, for some reason, Capricorn, you're kind of showing me this energy of King of the Mountain. Um, <laughs> King of the Mountain. Uh, jumping into this though, what you do show me immediately, there is this process or period that you are taking to kind of center yourself. Uh, I kind of feel like overall this is energetic prep to get ready and communicate and say something or express something to someone about where you're truly at emotionally regarding a specific situation. Um, that being said, whatever this communication is, I do see you are in the mindset and perspective of either one, not ready or not wanting to move forward quite yet. Um, it's an energy of possibly because of financial reasons, investments, security reasons, possibly you are showing me a situation that you've given quite a bit of work and effort to, which could be just your line of work or your career, um, or could be some sort of investment between you and someone, but overall things aren't going too well with that. It seems like what is going on? Are things kind of falling apart a little bit? I dare I say that. Um, but it definitely feels like things just aren't going well. That being said, though, there is some sort of authentic, genuine connection here between you and someone that does show up. And I'm not going to say this feels out of place. It's just energetically. It's almost like it's in the middle of all this. Um, so that being said, there is some sort of financial recognition here coming in for you, which is nice because it kind of puts your mind at ease um, and allows you to kind of surrender and accept and lean into this, which then in turn opens up some sort of new financial opportunity for you. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we can find. It's almost like you're reinvesting what you get into your business or career. Smart business, smart business move. Reinvest. Whew, yeah, geez, 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 Capricorn. Um, that is a nice, that's a nice energy. If you need to take time for yourself, take as much time as you need. That is a nice energy. That is getting you for, oh geez, that is getting you more, how do I say this? That is getting you more in tune with yourself, more in tune with your intuition. It's also heightening things for you. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy. That's possibly even an energy of, um, belief systems i'll leave it at that it's an energy of belief systems it's like if i need to take some time to myself and do what i need to do do it do it capricorn yeah there's definitely some sort of communication here between you and someone um and it's a matter of what to do what what can be done what to do i'm trying to come up with some sort of plan or strategy as to how to work through all this yeah you're even though you're saying you have what you have you're, you're not really wanting to go anywhere. I'm not too sure if you're choosing to stay because of financial reasons or just in a sense, financial, you know, security reasons, kind of like I, I have what I have, it's in place. 
Um, even though it's not the greatest, it is still something to kind of worth holding on to. Yeah, there's been some sort of financial loss, unfortunately. There has been. You're saying working career is just not going the way, in a sense, it should. Um, by whatever reasons or circumstances, it's definitely taken its toll. Goodness, goodness, Capricorn. Regarding the connection between the two of you, whether it is a relationship, whether it's a friendship, whatever this is, um, I do see that the two of you are actually moving past something and closing out some sort of chapter or cycle together. I don't exactly know what that means um, to you, but something is kind of being done with here. Something's closing out. I feel like I feel like I feel like money's still coming in, um, but ultimately you, you're kind of in this energy of yes, it is, but I also need to kind of stay and remain focused on that, clear-headed, level-headed, um, be very sharp for this. Jeez, yeah. There's a surrender here. There's a surrender here. I'm not too sure exactly what this is, um, but you definitely are assessing things quite heavily. You're trying to figure out what the best move is for you. This is all pointing in the direction of what to do next. What to do next after everything. And that starts off with you assessing everything you got going on. <laughs> oh goodness, yeah, here. Yeah, I feel like you're choosing yourself here, Capricorn. I do. You feel like there is some sort of financial opportunity here that you truly want to emotionally invest and commit to. And you feel like that over time, this will be very fulfilling for you. Okay. With the moon on top of the deck, you never know what life is going to throw at you. But wherever you go, there you are. Goodbye.